Using a small microcontroller can be useful if you have space or budget constraints, but sometimes you need more pins than the microcontroller has. One way to get another pin on most Atmel microcontrollers is to disable the reset pin, which can then be used as I.O. After disabling the reset pin, you are unable to program the microcontroller using an in-circuit serial programmer, and instead have to use a high-voltage programmer. A programmer capable of high-voltage serial programming can cost over $100, but with an Arduino and a few cents worth of parts, you can easily make your own. A high-voltage programmer uses between 11.5 and 12.5 volts on the reset pin to get the microcontroller to enter programming mode. Most Arduino high-voltage programmers use an external 12-volt source and switch it with a small transistor, but I decided to include a switching regulator to generate 12 volts from the 5-volt Arduino supply. I wanted to make something small and compact that plugged directly into the Arduino, so I used Fritzing, a small open-source CAD tool, to plan out the board. The 1K resistors on the pins aren't necessary, but hopefully they'll prevent the magic smoke being released if something goes horribly wrong. I then cut the board to size and sold the components to it. I uploaded a fuse resetting program to the Arduino. There are many versions out there, but most are based off the work of Jeff Kaiser from Mighty Ohm. I programmed an AT Tiny to blink an LED on the reset pin. This makes it unresponsive to in-circuit programmers. After putting it in the high voltage programmer and resetting the fuses, I'm able to put it back in the circuit and program it again. I can now use all the I.O. pins on the AT Tiny and still reprogram it to fix bugs or use for something else. One way to improve this setup is to program the AT Tiny directly with the high voltage programmer but I can't find any existing software to do this. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed and want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe. It would help me out a lot.